Hello, my name is John Hammack and I'm a developer evangelist for Treasure Data. For today's demo, we'll show you how to do a multi-part integration joining Zendesk, Salesforce, and Postgres data and visualizing our results in Tableau. Because ingestion works similarly across all data systems, our ingestion layer is based on mBulk, to keep things short, we'll only focus on ingesting the data from Zendesk. However, we will run a query and a Tableau result export from three data sources. At Treasure Data, we run our own customer support analytics. When a customer asks about a feature request, the state of an existing feature or a bug, it's critically important to us. In fact, they're all critically important to us. In order to prioritize our responses, it's every bit as important for us to know how often, where, and from whom we are getting these requests. Last year, we introduced Zendesk into our Treasure Data service to provide online chat and email support to our customers. However, in order to get good KPIs, we need to combine sources. Today, we'll describe our customer support use case using Treasure Data with Zendesk, Salesforce, and MySQL. We'll also look at some visualizations done in Tableau. This demo illustrates the sort of integration you can do when you combine data sources. Your mileage may vary depending on the source data, which unfortunately we can provide. So while we don't expect you to be able to re reproduce this particular integration step for step, we do want to walk you through our process to show you how simple it is. So our system, as you see here, uses Zendesk for information related to support tickets. It uses Salesforce for customer information, including customer's email, MRR, which is monthly recurring revenue, contracted region, and so on. It uses MySQL for the glue that holds the other two sources of information together, account information such as email addresses originating from Zendesk and account ID originating from Salesforce is combined with single index on our MySQL instance. Finally, we use Tableau for data visualization. So to get started, you'll need a few things. While we're just going to focus on Zendesk ticket ingestion, and then we'll query the lot, you will need a few things to make a full integration. You want to have Treasure Data Toolbelt installed. You want to have Zendesk, Salesforce, and Tableau Server Online accounts and credentials. And you'll also want to have a MySQL instance. So without further ado, let's get started. So the very first thing we want to do is create a Zendesk seed YML file. This is going to be the configuration file that we read when creating our database. So let's do that. We've actually already done it here. And we can see here what's entered, and including our login URL, our authentication method for Zendesk, our token, our target in Zendesk, our start time, our increment. We've also added a series of columns as well. We can see what's going on here. So if we close out of that, we'll be able to actually start to look into things. So we want to create our database and we want to be able to guess the format for the incoming data. So let's do that. TD database create. We're going to create a database called Zendesk. And we're going to guess from our Zendesk seed YML file the layout of our table, which we're going to specify with the minus zero switch into our Zendesk ticket YML. And we'll hit enter and we'll let that run. So great, that's created our configuration for our Zendesk ticket XML. We don't need to run a less command on that because we can already see what it contains. So let's preview the incoming data in Zendesk and ingest an initial ticket from Zendesk. So we're going to do td We're going to put these two commands together. So we're going to preview the incoming data and we're going to go ahead and ingest it as well. So that's our preview command. We're going to preview Zendesk ticket YML and we're going to issue the data to Zendesk. So let's do that td connector issue, loads the data to our database, Zendesk
we're going to specify our table as tickets. Our time column is going to be updated at and we're going to auto create the table as well. So let's hit enter and get that going. So what I now see is when I look in Treasure Data Console, I'm now able to see the database called Zendesk. And if I click on that, I see that there are five records in a table named Ticket, which we've actually created at the command line. So what if we wanted to do this as a regular import? So what I want to do is I want to schedule loading Zendesk data into Treasure Data. And I want to schedule it so that the data connector will ingest ticket information from Zendesk to Treasure Data every day at 1 o'clock Japan time. So I'm going to issue the command TD connector create. And of course, all of these instructions assume you have Treasure Data tool belt installed. So this creates our import like a cron job. And we're going to enter Zendesk tickets. We're going to use our Zendesk ticket YML as an argument. And our time zone we're going to specify as Asia forward slash Tokyo. Now I'm not going to enter this now because I don't want to create another job in my queue. But if I did, our data connector will ingest ticket information from Zendesk to Treasure Data every day at 1 p.m. JST. So our blog and our documentation provide the steps for connecting Treasure Data to Salesforce and ingesting data. Essentially, the steps would be the same. But your Salesforce seed YML is going to be different as it requires different credentials and settings. The same goes for MySQL although you can use either the local EMBL connector or the data connector from MySQL. At Treasure Data, we use a batch server to dump our MySQL instance data to CSV, and then we're going to upload it using our bulk import tool. Please check our documentation for the full details on importing data via our data connectors. So putting it all together, what we're going to do is we're going to run a command that compiles the data for two graphs. We're going to want our MRR by region, and our number of tickets by region. And I'm going to go directly to a data source I have on Treasure Data, a database I've already made on Treasure Data that's imported the data from all of the three sources, and I'm going to run an S SQL query, essentially a Presto query, that's going to output the results to Tableau. So let's do that. So I have essentially created a database on Treasure Data that's pulling data from Zendesk and from Salesforce as well and combining the two. And what I'm going to do now is run a query against them. Now I can put this query up on a GitHub, on a gist on a GitHub. So what I've done is I've created a data source on Treasure Data, a database actually, that I'm going to query. And this database combines data from SFDC, Salesforce in other words, as well as Zendesk. And I'm going to run a query against it and I'm going to export the results to Tableau. And let me show you how this is done. So this is our SQL query. This is pulling data from Salesforce. It's pulling information from our service database, which is going to be our MySQL. It is pulling data also from Zendesk as well. If we scroll down a bit, you can see latest tickets and unique Zendesk users. And we're joining some things together. I'm not going to walk through this query right now. What I will do is have this available for you on the, the related blog. So you can look at that. Now if I edit this query, I've already run it a few times. If I edit this query and I go to the edit on Tableau server, I can see that I'm exporting to Tableau server. My host is online tableausoftware.com, so that's where I'm going to be logging into. I'm entering my username, my password, using SSL with a certificate. We are creating a data source on Tableau called Zendesk underscore tickets, and we're going to look for that later. I'm picking my server version to be 8.2, and I'm doing append. What I'm actually going to do is replace mode. 
I'm going to use this. And then I'm going to save this query and run it. And we're going to run it now, actually. So it should be running. We will give that a few minutes. Data source is exported. Let's look it up in Tableau and make a query on it. So we're going to go to our data sources and search for Zendesk tickets, which we have here. And we're going to go here and we're going to create a new workbook. And for this workbook, we want to create a couple of graphs. One is going to be our MRR by region, and the other is going to be our number of tickets by region. So in order to do that, we want to specify for columns our region, and for rows, we want to specify our sum of our MRR and the sum number of records. So let's get those. So there's our MRR, and then our number of records. And as you see, this creates two graphs. One is our MRR by region, and the other is our number of records by region. So do you want to get the best out of your data analytics infrastructure with the minimum of expense, hassle, and configuration? Then try out Treasure Data. Our universal data connectors can route almost any data source to almost any data destination. Do you want an integration we don't support yet? Ask us. Sign up for our 14-day trial today or request a demo. You can also reach out to us at sales at treasuredata.com. An enormous thanks goes out to our support manager, Toru Takahashi, for his help with and his major contribution to this video. Thank you very much.